I've been doing a little bit of watercoloring and uh, I'm practicing and I'm practicing and I know I need a lot more practice but it is a lot of fun and I just didn't know where to put my little pictures or my little watercolor project projects that I colored I didn't know where to put them so what I did is I pulled out my art journal and I hadn't looked through it for a while and I thought well you know what I'm going to share with you my art journal and before I do that I went on Amazon yesterday and everybody's talking about this um, and I don't even know how to pronounce it but it's that Japanese traditional uh, watercolor well I went on Amazon and I thought I would uh, treat myself because I haven't really been buying too many things. Um, it just, nothing seems to be interesting to me. But I thought, well, you know what? I've been really into watercolors. So I went on Amazon. Uh, naturally, it's all sold out everywhere you look. Uh, I can't find it anywhere. It's sold out. So this will not be uh, shipped out to me until around the 8th of April to the 18th of April. I don't know. So, hey, I waited this long. Uh, I can wait a little bit longer. So I can't wait to uh, get this uh, new watercolor to see how this works. But, so anyway, what I wanted to show you is my watercolors that I just didn't know, like I say, where to put them. So I just had some here. And these are a couple of the freehand ones that I did, which I thought was kind of funny because it's something that I just can't do. I just don't have it in me, but it was fun doing. And like I said, that's what it's all about. Some of these pages were from my art journal where they all were already colored and either they were leftover sprays or they were from stencils that I just wiped off my stencils and put them on the pages. So I just thought I'd go ahead and just glue these watercolor images into my art journal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the beginning and I'll show you what I have so far. Um, this is one of my pages that I did with uh, Curiosity Shop. It's a tag and I just uh, I just used this is my really my go-to the studio uh, multimedia mat. I use this for my glue instead of Mod Podge on this one. And all I did is I took all of my scraps from Curiosity Shop and I just stuck them on the page. Um, I already had this tag and put the tag on there. So that's what I did to this page. And let's see here. I'll show you one of my favorite pages. But here's another one. These are some of the techniques that I tried. This was... Um, actual uh, tissue paper that I put down and I believe I used Mod Podge on this and I put Mod Podge down I put tissue paper I rolled it up and then I did my stenciling this is a digital uh, clip art digital image I'm sorry that I colored and stuck that on there and it says beauty blooms in the garden as well as the heart so there's that one like I say there's a little bit of technique in here I use some sprays, um, I don't know, whatever, little stamps here and there. There's no rhyme or reason, you just do it, I just do it. Here's another one of my watercolors, just trying to practice. Here's two birds, a dragonfly, here's one of my paper towel butterflies that I thought I'd add. A little clip art here, and I dated it, this was uh, going to be, oh wow, going to be March 7, 2014 that I did this one. And that's kind of nice too. See, even last year, I'm a happy spring. I'm thinking about spring. See, so uh, it must be the time of the year because that's what I'm doing. I'm looking through this stuff and I'm thinking of flowers and painting flowers and stuff. Here's, like I say, these are some of the pages that I just have the sprays that either bled through or just wanted to check it out to see. So that if you do have something that you want to put on there, the page is already ready for you. Here, um, another one, like I say, I did some stenciling, did some cutouts. Again, stencils, had some stencils. A lot of blank pages, but hey, when I'm ready to do it. Here is a, one, another one of my mixed medias, and it's better to take a risk than miss the moment of the magic. Here, this is where I use some molding paste. Did some cutouts. Put some sprays on that. 
Again, sprays just wipe my stencils off on these pages. I like when it uh, bleeds through and it shadows, gives it a lot more texture. This is one of my favorite, favorite pages, and I'm glad I kind of put it in the center of the book. Enjoy the little things in life. For one day, you'll look back and realize they were the big things. And here's one of the uh, Prima Dolls that I cut out. I paper pieced it, cut out some hearts. I did um, crackle paint, stencils, um, just painted it. Um, uh, used acrylic paint, watered it down, let it drip down. So uh, this is this is one of my favorite pages. I really like all the colors in it and everything. So there's that one. Again, some more just colored pages. Again, just wiped off the stenciling. Here I wanted to try something again. I had the mica fiber. What do you call those mica fibers or whatever? Um, this is day and this is night. That's what I named it. And use some glitter, some more of that um, molding paste, they call it, I guess. Did that one. This one here is a little sentimental to me. This is all about my dogs, and um, this was dated in April of 2013. This is when our male bull mastiff, uh, Bowie D, um, had knee replacement, and he was doing so well, and then he got a really bad infection, and that's what started the whole process of him getting worse, and then getting better, and then getting worse, and then we had to put him down um, a year later, which is very, very hard for me to still talk about, but... At least I have this page in memory of uh, Bowie where I put down that I made this because Bowie uh, re-injured his leg from his surgery. And um, I just wanted to keep myself busy. And as he was laying, I, made, I set up kind of like a little hospital room down in the uh, formal living room that we have. I set up a whole kind of like a triage there for him. And uh, this is where I took care of him. So this is what I was working on upstairs uh, as he was trying to recuperate downstairs. So this is a very special page for me. Now again, some more just different kinds of inks and colors and stuff. This one here was pretty silly. I do kind of like this um, kind of grunge mixed media with the fish and everything. And here's the octopus, the fish. and. It was under the sea, and I wanted to be a little bit funny, so I put SpongeBob. So SpongeBob is down here. He's under the SpongeBob is under the sea. So um, that was kind of well, you know, my humor. But that's what I did here. And here's a crab, and um, just did some doodles, and you know, you just, like I say, makes you wonder what is normal. Here again, uh, another one, I looks like I didn't date this, but I'm sure this was around the same time in the spring. Memories are flowers in the garden of life. And I just had all these different cutouts, and I thought I would just go ahead and uh, paint and do a little bit of um, texture stamps and cutouts. Here's one of my little stamps that I have. I think these little stamps are so cute. I used a little bit of Flower Soft and um, Flat Back Pearls and some bling here and added my flowers. Here's my butterfly. So if anybody knows me, you know how much I love flowers and, and butterflies and nature. So there's that page. Here's another one with the dogs that says the dog. The dog is the only thing on earth that loves you more than you love yourself. And there's a little girl on top of her dog. And I stamped this one, and this is September 7, 2014. Some more pages. Like I say, I can go ahead and add whatever I want. Some of these pages are already done for me. A lot of blank pages, but hey, when I feel like doing it. Here um, is another one of my watercolors that I just thought I'd add in there, my sunflowers. This is when I start to doodle. This is when I do my Zentangle. I try to do my Zentangle, so this is kind of nice. 
When you really have nothing else to do, doodle, zentangle, I think is pretty relaxing. I did that one. Here's another one of my uh, zentangles, and I, this one was done February of 2014. I tried to practice some of my zentangles and made little squares. I have a stamp that I stamped, and uh, it had the squares. Added a little bit of my uh, mixed media through there. This is um, actually, uh, I put a mat on it to protect it. Here's another one of my one of my favorite pages. These are my um, paper towel paper towel butterflies that I added, and it says I asked God for a flower, and He gave me a garden, and um, stamped it, highlighted it, just used all different kinds of sprays. I mean, all different kinds. I have the um, Illusion Sprays, Lindy Stamp Gang. I can't even tell you. Just go ahead and I just start spraying. See how nice that kind of like bleeds through. This is a beautiful page to go ahead and put something on it. I bleed it through a little bit there. So a little bit of a shadow. And then here's another one of, I started to doodle. And as I was looking at it, I says, wow, you know, this kind of looks like eyes right here. So what I did is I kind of traced it almost like connect the dots, and that almost looks like um, eyes. So what I did is I added that, and uh, this one I think I titled um, I See You. I think I titled this I See You. Here I doodled, and it actually looked like a little bird's face in there, so I kind of um, highlighted this a little bit to make it look like a bird. And then here the other day, um, I'm attempting again, practicing to try to do my watercolors. So I, this is what gave me the idea to just go ahead and stick my watercolors into my art journal. So here's the uh, birds that I just did the other day, freehand. And like I say, there's a reason why <laughs> I'm going to have to stick. I'm going to have to stick to coloring images, uh, either stamps or digitals. But um, it was it's fun. That's why I say it's all about having fun. Here, um, this technique, I used a napkin, and it says these boots were not made for walking. And this here, again, I used a lot of different, um, I just cut up part of the napkin and glued it on, and I used some of that uh, molding paste again, and the sprays, and it's really dimensional. I really like the way this one turned out. Here's one of my funny stamps. This I just thought was really cute. I thought I just, I just had this, the yellow with the oranges and stuff, and I do like this, and this is one of my um, stamp images, and it's the bee, and it says, does this stinger make my butt look big? I thought that was kind of cute. So I thought I'd put that in there. These are a couple of my other watercolors that I tried, attempted to yesterday. Um... I'm trying flowers, I'm trying the leaves, I'm, tr I'm trying to get a little bit of the technique down. Here, I think, well, okay, it kind of looks like a hummingbird, and the only reason why it looks like, like a hummingbird is because the beak is a little longer, but it's a little too chubby to be a hummingbird, but what are you going to do? I'm still learning. I'm, I'm practicing, and that's, that's what I'm doing. It's fun. And then here's another one of the watercolors. So this here, I just thought I would uh, do a fast flip through of my art journal and I cannot wait to get these new um, watercolors in from Japan and I'll probably have to wait another at least a month for that but hey this what are you gonna do well but I just thought I'd give you a uh, fast flip through of my art journal so thanks for watching bye